Hey there, Shirtlight here. We're interrupting this model suit guide for the weekly after colony ornithology. During this episode, we'll be covering the OZ00 MS Tolgies, a supersonic avian in its natural habitat. Most days, you can spot one in the show Gundam Wing, or in the game Gundam vs Gundam Next Plus. It can also be found in the PS4 Gundam vs, as well as the arcade release of Crossboost. Piloted by a funny German number, the Doggies is a very nimble bird, whose mobility is further enhanced by the powerful thrusters on its back. In terms of gameplay, this unit is quite challenging to get used to, as it has certain mobility-related gimmicks. However, it is still a pretty decent 2000 cost machine. To kick off the moveset part, the tall geese carries a Dober gun on its right shoulder as its main weapon. It's a solid beam gun with decent damage. The charged variant, however, consists of a free round burst from the Dober gun coupled with a sideward dodge, allowing it to be used as a mobility tool as well. Your sub weapon is a missile pod which shoots two incendiary missiles, which erupt into flames and deal damage over time in their blast radius. It self detonates past a certain range so keep that in mind. The Dobergan also spots a Garobi shot in the form of your special ranged attack. This is your hardest hitting move, but has a hefty recharge time as well, so you can't really go ham with it. Going back to the movement gimmick I mentioned earlier, the Togis is equipped with something known as a Super Vernier. This is a mechanic shared by the later iterations of the Togis, as well as the Togis 3. You see, thanks to the huge boosters on your back, the boosting works a bit different. Instead of jumping and boost dashes, you perform the aforementioned Super Vernier, which makes you go up. When paired with the directional inputs, you can modify the direction of your ascent, which allows you to fly around. This also serves as a substitute for the boost dashing, which means that you can use it for attack cancelling as well. The last part of the Super Vernier mechanic is the manual fast fall move. In this case, you can perform it by pressing the special melee input though I wouldn't recommend using it close to the ground unless you plan to interrupt it with another movement option. As for the combos, here you go! Additionally, you also get to summon Noin's Ares, which fires missiles at your target. The Togis is a pretty formidable ranged unit that is a bit more challenging to pick up and play effectively, and much harder to truly master. One of the main issues you might run into is that you will initially have more trouble with boost cage management, but once you get used to it, the Super Vernier mechanic is very rewarding. Another useful thing to practice is the timing on the charge shots so you can use them as an additional movement tool. Well, that concludes the unit guide number 6, and this is Shirtlight, signing out.